back to my channel it's your girl Sharon aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner and we are back again actually we haven't done this before um this is um story time I haven't done story time for a while um yeah it's a story time it's been a minute so we'll go into what the story time is because I start the story time and then I because I I was filming another video Y'all already know how I do. I film another video and then get another idea and that's what happens. So enjoy the story time. Okay. So where I was getting with, at with is that um, besides just a chilling and relaxing thing, I think I also just, oh, what I didn't share before is that that last week of work was really difficult for me um, emotionally. I had so many emotions and I didn't know how to feel. Um, it was good and bad. And I also kind of had a little bit of anxiety because, again, I'm a warrior. Um, because, again, I got the new position, or so I thought. I, I, I do have the new position, side note. But <laughs> I wasn't 100% sure because I did the thing that you're really not supposed to do is say you have something when you don't know you have it yet because the background check and whatnot hasn't went through yet. I jumped the gun saying it's fine because I know my background check was going to be okay. I haven't done anything crazy. Okay. Like I'm an adult. <laughs> not, not to say just because you do something crazy, you're not an adult, but like I'm on the age. I'm grown. Like I'm not, I'm not doing anything crazy. Um, and also, I um, knew my drug test was going to be fine because I don't, I don't do drugs. <laughs> like, that was going to be a non-issue. And also, too, mind you, even if I was to, like, partake in the um, wacky tobacco, um, child, I am aging the hell of myself. Um, devil's lettuce, there we go. Even if I was to partake in the devil's lettuce. Because I knew my job elimination situation back in February. That told me right then and there. I cannot do devil's lettuce until I get another job. At least. And I still probably won't do it until after the 90 days is up. Like, I'm... Also, I'm not someone who does that regularly anyway. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm missing it. Like, I don't do it regularly. I probably, if I do do it, it's like a once a year type of situation. And it's not frequently. And I don't even buy it. Like, I'm just not, it's not my thing. It really never has been. But every once in a while, I'll take an edible and then go sleep. That's pretty much the extent of what I use it for. I don't really like to use it to get high. Like, it's not my thing. I use it to, and I don't like the um, energized ones. Like, the thing that's called Stativa. I don't like that strand. Like, I'm already naturally a warrior and already... I got my own anxiety. I don't need help with it. I don't need more anxiety. <laughs> or paranoia. I don't need any of that. This brain, it doesn't want some. It doesn't need the help. Um, but yeah. So, I kind of already had the idea. So, I wasn't really worried about that. But So, I say all that to say I did not get... The onboarding stuff, like the emails for that, until the last day. So up until the last day, I'm literally freaking out. Because my last day was, I did it on the Thursday instead of like the actual last day. Because I want to take some of my power back a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, that's kind of how I felt about it a little bit. Um. So, yeah. It was a weird week. And... But after that Thursday, that Friday, when I wasn't working, it still felt like I was working because I really knew that that was actually truly my last day. So it was kind of weird. But Saturday, Saturday felt great. Because I guess also too, Friday, I didn't feel 
anything about it because I was trying to get a whole bunch of stuff ready for this vacation. Like I did my hair, I like, but clearly I did it in a hurry. Like it's not the way I would normally like it, but I just wanted to do it enough where it's just out the way and I don't have any problems with like my hair getting wet and it being a, like looking a hot mess. Like I wanted it where it looks somewhat decent so that while I'm like, if I do stuff in the water, I wouldn't have any problems. So there's that. So yeah, but f so Friday and even Sunday, I just was running around, I felt like. Um, Saturday was my day where I really felt like myself. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally am starting to feel like myself. And I weighed myself Saturday morning. Why? Just from like not working and the idea of thinking about no longer working. I lost five pounds right away. And I... And I haven't been working out as much as I want to either that week. And it wasn't me losing five pounds of muscle because I did go to the gym at least once last week, that week. Yeah. For those who don't know, and I probably should have mentioned this before, and I think those who have, if you follow my channel from the beginning, you know, um, stress, I gain weight while I'm stressed out. I don't lose weight when I'm stressed. <laughs> I just hold on to weight when I'm really, really stressed out. And so that's what's been happening. Like all this weight I've put on, it's just been stress induced weight. Um, also too, I've kind of gotten lazy just a little bit, not too much. Um, because my version of lazy is not everyone else's version of lazy at all. It's actually, most people still think I'm really active, which I am, but just not for me. Like I know how active I can be. I know how much I really can be like, exercise um almost to the point where that's even unhealthy how much I do that but and I don't really want to do that I want to find a balance so um I am going to try to do that even within having this new job because my new job hours are even better um I don't have to start until 8 30 my time and I had to fight in my old job to get me to even start at 8 my time so I love that it's a clear schedule that I start at 8.30, my time. Um, and it even says in the agreement, that's what it is. And I'm just like, thank freaking God. Because I do not want to have to st start earlier than that. Um, every once in a while, I'm pretty sure I will because that's how it works in the project world. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited, pretty stoked about it. Um, that's going to be the next move. I don't really, I'm trying not to think too much about it. I want to be present here and completely get back to really enjoying the vacation that I'm still that, that I still left here before I really think of anything else. But it's just a good feeling that things are moving forward. And I don't know, like I'm liking this energy I got. One of my friends I haven't talked to for a while reached out to me actually while I was on my way here. And... I don't know. I want to talk to them and hang out, but at the same time, and I want to know how y'all feel about this. I feel, I feel bad, but have you ever wanted to close off a whole entire chapter of your life? And then even some of the people that were in it, whether they did you wrong or not, but it's just, it reminds you of some of the people that you were affiliated with that you just don't really want to talk about anymore. I'm just wondering because I'll be honest. Um, so I have a friend right now who reached out kind of recently and they probably will see this video. Um, but about the time they see it, it's going to be later on. And I, I am going to hang out, but I'm going to probably talk to them about it. Um, I, I am going to talk to them about it. Um, so I'm going to talk to them about it before it even comes out. I There are certain people that they're still cool with. I'm not cool with anymore. And I don't even want to hear about how they're doing or anything anymore. Like I've moved forward. I've moved on. So because I move and I'm one of those people, once I move on from a situation, I don't need to hear about them anymore. I'm good. There's nothing else that needs to happen there. Um, that's where I'm at in life right now. I move forward. Um, once I'm over a situation, it's done. Um, it's, it takes a lot for me to get over it though. There's that. I don't just cut people off. 
it takes a lot for me to get to that point. But once I'm at that point, I don't go backwards. There's no going back. It's forward movement for me. And when it comes to a lot of people that were in the in my life, that's what it is. Because I do have other friend. I do have another friend who I hang out with very very regularly. That is like my homie. Like we're gonna be hanging out when I get back on Wednesday. Okay. So back to the story time. So what I was mentioning before is that. Um, so I we I, there was other people that were part of that group. It's, it's and it's all time to my old running group I was part of. Okay, and. One of them, I still hang out with. He's like my ace bukun. He like he's cool as hell, and I'm even cool with the, like his wife. Like I love them. They are the best. Like awesome, and down to earth, normal ish, edge has a little edge to them. My type of people, and literally, I knew that when I first met him. Um, and it wasn't in that kind of way. Clearly, never. Um, but I met him. And I was like. You would have been someone who I would have hung out in high school. Because he's like that kind of people. Like, like I was like, you literally remind me of someone who I would have hung out with in high school. Like, because for those who didn't go to high school or anything with me, I hung out with like the alternative crowd. <laughs> that was my people. Like, we went to like rock shows and stuff. That's why I was like kind of like in my rock era. Um, I really listened to everything back when I was in high school because, child, it was a time. When, back when I went to high school, that was the time. That's when music was still musicking and like the, the creativity was still there. And people, all races, listen to all genres. I'll be honest with you. I feel like everyone at that time listened to all genres. But I did kind of go a little bit more into the rock side of it a little bit. Because some of my friends were... Even like my best friend, who I was best friends with since like sixth grade, also... We both went all into the, like the, we were like the two black girls. And then we met other black people who were like that too. We we're like, oh my gosh, we're like into the punk rock stuff. So like, it was fun, like alternative people. And so we, that was the people we hung out with, the Jago jeans, that whole thing. We, I had a pair of those. It was one of those. Anyway, but I also had preppy clothes. It was really weird. Like I, I was one of those people I, I would I had I was in different I was in a couple different cliques because of that. So I also was like in the black people clique because you know I'm black. Um, but then I also had you know my alternative clique, which was probably more of my closer friends. Like because a lot of them I went to like grade school and stuff with, so I've known forever, and um, or middle school. Like either I eat either or. But anyway, the point is. My friend who I who I met when I first moved here to the city was part of the running group. He literally reminded me of one of those people that I would have went to high school with. And like we would talk music and stuff besides running. Because that's another thing too. A lot of the people who I became friends with within that running club was because we were talking about other things that weren't just running. Like I love running, don't get it twisted, but I don't want to just talk about that all the freaking time. Like there's other things to talk about, you know? I, and so there's that. And we got cooler, especially during when the world shut down, because I literally ran, I mean, physically ran into him everywhere because both of us were just running throughout all the city of Chicago, because that was one of the few times where you could do that because there was no one on the streets. So you could run everywhere. Like I ran, I ran Michigan Avenue and nobody was on the street. It was like, it looked like a ghost town. It was kind of weird, but awesome at the same time. That was the time. I ain't gonna hold you. That was the only time like... Yeah, rest in peace for everyone that lost their lives. That part wasn't cool, but like the other part, okay, again, you know me. Lemonades, le making lemon, making lemonade out of lemons. Yeah, anyway, but um, so I still hang out with him because that's not, it's a non issue with that. We don't talk about any of the people from before or anything like that. We have, because there's just more, we see each other frequently. So I think that's part of it. And we also just talk about what we got going on. I, we don't care about what's going on with all the other people. Like, he has enough going on where I can just talk about what he got going on. I got enough going on where I can talk about what I got going on. And my other friend, because we don't see each other as much, um, along, with his, along with his wife, um, we don't see each other as much. So it does leave room. And I guess I'm not sure why it leaves room. 
I guess we're trying to fill each other out still and get to know each other more. But I think I do need to finally say something and say, like, look, I don't want to talk about some of these people anymore. I know you hang out with them or ever still, but I don't I don't have any interest or care what they got going on. And maybe I'm giving mixed signals with that because I am still friends with some of these people on social media. Like I didn't block them or anything, but I don't use my social media enough where it would matter. So I don't care. Um, and also too, I'm freaking I'm an adult. Like <laughs> I don't really block people unless like I hate you. And that is a strong word. And I don't really hate these people. I just don't really need to revisit anything with them at this moment. Um, if I was to run into them, I'm not going to act like they don't exist. Me? Uh, I don't know. That that part I'm not so sure about. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. But because um, they haven't. It's just, but I'm just, I'm at a different point in my life already. Like I already moved on, you know? And I think we even tried to talk about it before about how that goes because I don't think he's that type of person, but I am. I am someone that can move on and once I'm done with the situation, I'm done. And especially even when it comes to the ex, I still talk about the ex here and there. But the reason why I still talk about the ex is because, well, he's my last forever. He was my last potential forever partner. So there's a little bit more significance to that. But outside of that, I'm not trying to run into him. You know? And and also I, I experienced more things with him. Like we went we went on vacations and stuff together. So there is stuff that that is gonna come up. And it was so interwoven into all the other things that had going on that what that wasn't just that group. So yeah, that's gonna come up. But like when it comes to some of the other people, because it wasn't just him, I had a couple of friendship breakups and then I had two friends that I broke up with along with the ex. So I had, it was a whole thing. And then actually even before that, I had another friendship breakup. I had a couple, there was a whole entire break of people who I just was like, okay, we're, we're done over here. We're done. I'm, and the weird odd thing is probably 10, 15 years ago, it wouldn't have happened that way. But at this point in my life, I protect my peace at all costs. So I guess I'll just let you know how all that goes because I'm just not really sure what I mean. I am going to have the conversation, but I'm kind of curious how that goes, because um, I know sometimes I could come off really harsh when it comes to that kind of thing because I move on very easily. And I was talking to even like my other friend who an ex roommate um, uh, when I went to visit her up like in the burbs and she, and I think she views just how I say things differently than how, how I mean them. Because for me, I like to say life is a series of moments, moments past. She thinks that sounds depressing. I don't think that sounds depressing. I just think I'm just really good at moving on. Like, okay, that happened. Now what? <laughs> like that's, that is how I am. But maybe, I don't know if she just, maybe she might also be the type who doesn't move on easily. I do. I keep it pushing. I, I don't have time. And maybe that's the Aries in me. I don't like to like linger and like dwell and oh, I don't like doing any of that. Like it doesn't do anyone any, any favors for me to be that way. So I just move on and I'm like, okay. And then try to see what I learned from that situation and move accordingly. That's how I like to grow. That's literally how I like to give it up. So, because also when I said this, the other friends was there at the same time. They're just like, and no one understood what I was trying to say. I was like, okay, I'm I'm alone in the island when it comes to this moving on thing. Okay, got it. By the way, this is not ad, but this AG1 stuff, I'm telling you, it's really, really good. <laughs> Anyway, so that is just kind of like what I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with next, just because what I'm going to do next, because I'm just not really sure um, if 
I guess I'm just, I'm, I, and this might be just me being a warrior because I worry easily um, when I really, really, when I really think about it. And running is what prevents me from being such a warrior, and I haven't been really running as much, so that might be why I'm a little bit more in my head. Um, but I guess that's. It also kind of threw me off that like I got a message out of nowhere. Um, I have other friend too who messages me here and there. I need to actually. I'm going to message him and talk to him in a little bit. Um, just because I feel bad that I don't ever message him back. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just one of those things where I'm just ready to move forward. I've been working on trying to get my things together, my things in order, my faculties. And I've had a lot going on that I haven't talked to people about. Like no one knows any of my family situation. And I haven't really felt open enough to say anything yet. But like... I have that going on too that I haven't talked to about. I just kind of led with what I have going on and not so much like my family situation. Um, but there's a lot that I got going on that I just don't be sharing. And I guess when it comes to this friend, I don't know how much I really want to hang out. And even I don't even know if we have really anything in common. Because then the other thing that they invite me to was some type of like event where I don't really want to do that on a Friday night. i rather just like, I don't know. Like for me, there's just other things I could be doing with my time. You know what I mean? So, um... And after a work week, I'm not trying to do that. I'm actually trying to get my running back in order, if anything. Because um, I am I have to train for 50K this year. So that's my main focus, train like getting that together, developing closer relationships with the friends I already have. And then if something happens in between that, because something might be happening right now at the moment... We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> that um, does conclude the little bit of a story time and also kind of like a, I'll, I'll give you guys an update on what happens with that. Um, I just, I don't know. When it comes to some of my things that are past stuff, once again, and I don't know if I'm the only way it's like that or not, but like once I move past something, I'm done. I don't need to revisit it. And that's why I always try to, like, when I talk to people about this, including when I was, like, with my ex, I warned him multiple times, like, you do not want me to be done with this. Because when I'm done, I'm done. Like, I don't revisit. It's, a ret it's giving a return to sender after that, which I literally had to do that, ironically, when it came to him and his, some of the things. Um No, he was sending me things that had a return to sender. I literally had to do that. Like, it was... it's. People don't get when I'm done with the situation, I'm truly done. And it's like a switch because it's very abrupt when I'm actually done. And, but it takes a lot for you to push me to that point. I, I get, I feel like I'm push, 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 push that point. And once I'm pushed to that point, I'm not giving you warning anymore. I know where it's just return sender. Like it's like that. It's, it's, it's the, my cutoff game. Once I cut you off is strong. It's so strong. It's it's ridiculous. Um, because I don't want to be fake and pretend that everything is all good when it's not. And you also don't want me to go off on you and bite your head off. So which so honestly, this is the most clean cut solution. Just cut the cord. <laughs> but anyway, that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Bye. Send the rocks across the sea.